In this video, we are going to produce an XY plot of the top curve of our hanger that shows the distribution of stress. An XY plot is similar to the traditional XY graphs that are used to communicate a variety of data. In simulations, XY plots are a great communicative method as it can easily communicate elements of the simulation in an easy to understand way. They are also easy to print, easy to share, and easy to interpret. This makes them common in practice. In this case, we are asked to get the XY plot for the stress distribution for this upper edge. So let's go ahead and do that. To get the plot, I can right click on the stress plot here in my simulation tree, and then select probe. And this will open up this new window. In the options, I can select on selected entities. And then here in this box for the results, I can select this edge on the top. And you can see the edge highlighted with this curve right here. Then select update. And this will give us a table of the results across that edge we selected. And those entries are based on the nodes. If I go down, there are some report options, and here I can find an option for plot. And once I click on that, I will get an XY plot that shows the distribution of stress on that edge I selected. And we can see that the plot is symmetrical, which makes sense given the geometry we have. Let me go ahead and enlarge this plot just to get a clearer view on it. On one axis, we have the stress values, and in the other, we have the parametric distance. Keep in mind that we get a parametric distance from 0 to 1, not the exact distances along the edge. And in this, one end is 0, while the other end is 1. Now we have the plot generated. If I take the cursor of the mouse into the plot, we can get this X that shows us the exact values of where we have the cursor at. And the values will be shown at the bottom of the plot right here. Now that we have the plot out, we can save it and share it with other people. To save it, I can simply go to the file option, click on save as, and then save the plot as an image. Here are a couple of notes to keep in mind when working with XY plots. One, if we want to produce another plot, we can simply go back to our probe result, property manager, and select another edge. However, make sure to delete the existing edge as to have one edge selected when doing your plot. So let's say I want to make a plot for this edge right here. I can go ahead and select it, but then we will notice that here in the result box, we have two edges selected. So I will go ahead and delete my first edge and just keep the second one. And then click on update, go to plot, and this will generate a plot for this other edge. One good thing here is that the other plot we created is still there, so I can drag that out. And now I have two plots shown at the same time, which makes it easy to compare different plots or different stress distributions across different edges. The second note is that if we want to create a plot to a non-existing edge, we can use the split command to make a selectable edge or line for that, and then use that as a base for the XY plot. For example, let's say I want to create a plot for a line that goes from this edge here to the back end of our model then what we can do is we can go back to our modeling setting and have a split line there and then come back to our simulation package and select that edge for a plot. And by this, we conclude this video on XY plots. Subscribe and click on the bell to get Gallon excited about the game.